And so um, he's actually created a beautiful ambience of, of, of beauty and harmony as we arrived. Um, from the moment this uh, celebration was proposed, I've been really looking forward to it. Celebrating a birthday is about remembering your beginning, reflecting on your past, enjoying the moment, and looking to the future, and sharing that celebration with people um, who, who have shared the journey with you. And that is exactly what today is about, celebrating our last 35 years. Thanking those who have contributed to our successes and inviting you all to step into the future with us. Strong in the belief that the best is yet to come. We all have a part in shaping a better world. No organisation, regardless of size, good morning, regardless of size, um, or influence can embody this, type, this responsibility alone. Community childcare is so much more than the sum of its individual activities. It's sustained by shared values, commitments and knowledge expressed through our many initiatives, partnerships and collaborations. As we celebrate our 35th year, we acknowledge all those, both individuals and organisations, who have contributed to so much to community childcare. Many of you are in the audience today and include board members from across the ages and our valued friends and partners from other organisations. I would especially like to acknowledge um, the consortium members of Children's Services Central and the organisations who have sponsored today, Guild Insurance, HESTA and Educational Experience. We enjoy great relationships with all of our sponsors and their ongoing commitment to community childcare provides opportunity and possibility for us to do the many things that we do. Community childcare has a rich history, like, and like most organisations, has experienced highs and lows, the ebb and flow of working in an ever-changing environment. I'm very happy to be able to say that in this our 35th year, we are most certainly in a state of flow. This creative and dynamic growth can be attributed to the focus, commitment and energy of our CEO, Leanne Gibbs, and the team at Community Childcare. They bring this commitment, energy and focus to work with them every day. I'm very privileged and proud to be part of this organisation which continues to evolve and grow. A huge thank you to Leanne and the team at Community Childcare for bringing today together and for what they do on a daily basis. But I would also like to thank my fellow board members. It's a pleasure to work with each and every one of you. And now on to the celebration. Since its inception in 1978, Community Childcare has worked tirelessly to advocate for the rights of children and the provision of affordable, high quality early childhood programs. Our history is embodied in the theme of today, speaking up and speaking out. The speakers today have been especially chosen because of their history of speaking up and speaking out. They include some of the rabble of the sector, the noisy ones. <laughs> they have all chosen their own topic, and in the words of our speakers, it's about the challenges, the conversations we avoid, and some uncomfortable ideas. We hope that you will be provoked and you will leave here thinking. In celebrating speaking out, we celebrate that great ideas can also be borrowed. We have borrowed the following rules from another forum where people also speak up and out, TED. 
These are the rules given to TED speakers at TED events. We think they will work quite okay today. Rule number one, thou shalt not trot out thy usual shtick, thou shalt dream a great dream, or show forth a wondrous new thing, or share something thou hast never shared before. Rule number two, thou shalt reveal thy curiosity and thy passion. Rule number three, thou shalt tell a story. Rule number four, thou shalt freely comment on the utterances of others and for the sake of blessed connection and exquisite controversy. Rule number five, thou shalt not flaunt thy ego. <laughs> Be thou vulnerable, speak of thy failure as well as thy successes. Rule number six, thou shalt not sell from the stage, neither thy company, thy goods, thy writings, nor thy desperate need for funding, <laughs> lest thou should be cast aside into the outer darkness. Rule number seven, thou shalt remember all the while laughter is good. Rule number eight, thou shalt not read thy speech, if anyone can help it. Huh? <laughs> I'm having a little bit of help reading my speech. And rule number nine, thou shalt not steal time of them that follow thee. So without further ado, some quick conference tips. I'm sure at some stage all of you will head off towards the bathroom, and so it's out of the doors and to the right. Now, um, there are lots of females here, so you might also have to share the bathroom at the end of the lifts. So if you go out of the doors to the left and beyond the lifts, there's another set of bathrooms. In the event of an emergency and we're required to evacuate, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling. <laughs> Please follow the lights to the exits and follow the instructions of the aerial function staff. Your programs outline the day, so be sure to take advantage of the morning and tea breaks, sorry, morning and lunch break, to catch up with people you haven't seen for a while. And while we're on the subject of the program, we do have a little change. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Embracing change. <laughs> so, on your program, um, at, at 10.30, um, Leanne and Emily were to present Education as Everything Slam. Instead, we have Jane Caro um, presenting our... Gosh, sorry, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I can't breathe without my glasses. We have Jane Caro at 10.30 um, and Jane will be uh, presenting... Gosh, Jane, what are you presenting? You'll sort that one out. Okay, so so Jane will start at 10.30, go through to 11.10, and then 11.15 we'll have morning tea, and Emily and, and Leanne will, will present after morning tea. Okay, two more things. Be sure to visit the community childcare shop, and you'll find T-shirts, mugs, and all sorts of merchandise. And uh, at 5 o'clock, the partying begins. Bowls, cakes, and dancing, if you so dare. I would like, like now to welcome our first speaker, Michael West. Michael is a great friend of community childcare and will give us a welcome and, and speak, to it, speak with us. Michael West is a member of the cultural, uh, sorry, is a member and cultural representative of the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council who are traditional custodians of the land, air, water and culture within their boundaries. Michael is co-chair of national, the National Sorry Day Committee and director of the New South Wales Indigenous Chamber of Commerce. So please join me in welcoming Michael. Thank you. 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 Thank you.